It's Michelinda Park, a Kyanad Art School Green Falls. It's the largest secondary comprehensive school in North Lanarkshire Council and it is the sole provider of Gaelic medium education within secondary education. So we've got just under 1,500 pupils in the in the building. Fasker Kiet Scholar in Akinye aha a Jana and Kutchfal on Tavina Gaelic. So our Gaelic medium pupils travel from all over Lanarkshire to come here for their secondary education. And part of our identity when we moved over into the new building was very much to focus on what it meant as a, as a cultural thing for the school. So all of the signage within the school is bilingual. We felt that that was really, really important. And a huge feature of our school improvement plan is about a Gaelic medium education. We make sure that we've got a separate target, a, a separate improvement planning part that's shared with the whole school and we try and use assemblies to, to take features of, of Gaelic education and, and why we have it so that it's it's part of the whole culture of the school. I should see if I can my fourth like I saw kind of my school that high ho taiko I guess a hang conny a kit the map as a fine yok mean corman at the alice a huge yell. I think the biggest thing was was really to break down the break down the barriers in terms of people's understanding of what it was and why it was here. I think we had to get away from seeing it as a niche market and it, it's quite difficult for people in, in Lanarkshire in the heart of the Central Bell, a very, very, very industrial working class area and, and a lot of people think, well, why Gaelic? Why here and why are you spending all of that money? Why are you even bothering doing that? Who's going to speak Gaelic? What use are you going to have in a, a, a labour market? In this area here so it was about breaking down those barriers and, and really doing that expansion of it it's about the, the prospects of a child learning any language and obviously the, the the assets that that brings and if we've got that richness within the school why as a school are we not using that this isn't kid on in any way shape or form it's not an add-on this is a real core part of this school my scholar in Gaelic, I can get a Farrakhan car in the middle. I have a cushion to the other side. It's a miracle of Shen Aiken. I guess Hashinia is a boy, a Hashin is a horse, is an opera hat, you know, it's a rain Aiken. I guess in Doimarka, a Arke, a cushion in the other, a scask about Erin Faken, my pastor in the school. I guess had a Farrakhan, my pastor in the school. If we really wanted Gaelic to have a, a proper identity within the school and if we, we were really being true to, to what was the intent in terms of what we were, we were writing as an authority in our Gaelic uh, education plan, it was really, really important that the subject got its identity. And one of the things I struggled with in the early years uh, when I started here was that, that Gaelic was part of the modern languages department. And the more I researched into to Gaelic and the difference between being a Gaelic learner and Gaelic medium education was that even if it had to have been tagged to any department, I, I, it just didn't sit within modern languages. So for me, it was really important to create its own identity. And I, I went to the authority with my proposal and, and, and got permission basically to establish it as a, a department within its own right in the school. And we were allowed to advertise for a principal teacher of Gaelic. And that really was fundamental in terms of the growth within the, within the department. <laughs> She who was ha and a common a good of young son Gaelic on the Lama Gatua. Ha dive Gmadlu Aki. I guess for Shin Eterihin, I guess a fair of a show row and Kuchok. I mean, Ha Ui Eke, Gunatra, Alms of Alec, Hanyami Bull of Kinchok, J. Who was of Anyol as Eke, Musta Hoshiki as a scholar show, Ah and Isha Ha Ui Eke, Ha even a sass and a inlock root to the wing the scholar, a brosn of Gaelic. I guess at all shack it fused cohorta and isha aid matter how lice you cook the in the scotch. So I'm moving on. Be Gishak in your gmatic uh kit is Corman Tyke Arica Jane, um a ha mehin it is hain, a copper uh le bunion ele, as a s a hall refuse, uh a kit as on doin ele gusavi, a put of the gallic gusavi, um a cur ear in the gallic bespeak the sarsh of fat and shoe. I think the bit in terms of, of, of the whole staff, it's about that exposition of Gaelic is not a language in the way that a, a child, in terms of the, the language provision in schools, it's not a neo plus one, plus two, plus three. If children are, are, or if young people are coming up through Gaelic medium education, Gaelic is their first language.
it's really, really important. It's a, it's a choice element for them and for their families. I think the understanding that, that many staff, and myself included, as an outsider looking in was, my goodness, who knew that Cumbernauld and Newtown, you know, and, and the, the, the fringes of North Lanarkshire, but in the fringes of Glasgow too, who knew that, that there was such a, you know, a, a resettlement from the Highlands and Islands for all of these Gaelic speaking people? Because you just presumed that, that if children were learning Gaelic medium education from the age of three, it was obviously because it was the language that was their native tongue and, and it was spoken at home. And for me, the reality that that wasn't the case, that, that was mind blowing. So if it was a huge surprise to me, it must have been a surprise to the rest of the staff. So we were able to profile what Gaelic Beecham education was in North Lanarkshire and explain what the national plan for Gaelic was and how it was really exciting for us to be part of it, but why it was really important to give that richness across the broad general education of learning subjects through the medium of Gaelic, because it's the same as other children learning English as a second language or whatever, and we, we should have that richness and diversity there. And at first, I, I do think staff were really sceptical about it because all they can see for Gaelic is, well, they, they get extra funding for that. They've got small classes. Why, why are they able to get away with, you know, I've got a class of 30 in front of me. Why are they teaching classes of only 10 at a time? That's not fair. Because when it boils down to it, and everybody's backs are against the wall, you know, in the middle of November or the middle of February, everything in teaching is about fairness and oh, woe is me. And because we do struggle with, with you know, teachers, teachers do an amazing job. And, and, and workloads is hard, but there was no understanding of that. And I think through making sure that, that Gaelic sits at the core of our improvement plan and people have that understanding, it's taking some people a wee bit longer to, to get the horse to the water than it has for others, but that's okay. But we need to just make sure that it's always out there and it's an integral part of what we do. And it's not just that for the staff in this school, that's what we do as a school within the authority. I don't attend anything in North Lanarkshire Council any head teaching meetings, any forum, any, any meetings across the West Partnership without talking about Green Falls High School, which is the Gaelic Major Secondary School for North Lanarkshire Council. Doi Bach, Eike Hat, and Doris Eike Fosco, Chigain Fat and Chul. So, Mahai Lehain, Maha Uni Eike, Bunen Bimi, Agashina Hamjianu, Gashakum, Be Kormakum, Kyu, Vinia is in Grishak, Eir. When I had cushion in the rain, I would say, Tosha, I call who can say. We want people to understand, and through understanding, there comes, even in some cases, it might be a reluctance acceptance, but usually through understanding, you will get acceptance of what you do and why you do it. And to be fair, I think we really have chipped away at that over, over the years, in the sense that when people see it absolutely as for the good of the pupil, because we need to get it right for every child. That's not just something that applies to English stream schools. Getting it right for every child means GME as well. But that prejudice, as I say, it's always when people's backs are against the wall and it's still, well, they've got small classes and, you know, they get funded, they, they can apply for, for bids for ring fence funding for Gaelic. And I, I'm afraid the, the, tough, the tough conversations, because it is tough realities, this is the framework within which we are trying to, to promote Gaelic education and we're trying to make sure that we give the best possible service to the young people in our care. So you work within the framework that exists in the same way as we do for any other aspect of the curriculum. And I wouldn't be a head teacher doing my job if I didn't maximise the opportunities that we had for young people in Gaelic in the same way as I would maximise opportunities for young people who were taking part in health and wellbeing experiences. So for me, it's the same thing. And I think the more often that, that staff are getting to hear that and the more exposure they get and in service days and we promote the work of the department and, and we try to make sure that it's not seen as a niche and we try and include, uh, we include, you, you don't need to be Gaelic speaking only to be able to attend some of the events that happen in school. So it's about that, that breadth and diversity that we try and bring. And to be fair, staff are much, much more accepting now when they see the richness that it's bringing to the school. We keep in touch with our, our young people and we, we use that very much within the school and within the department to celebrate the success of young people. And this year, it's absolutely fabulous to see that one of the probationers we have in the school this year, who is now delivering science through the medium of Gaelic eh, as a probationer, is one of our former pupils in the school. So that's, that's really nice to see that that's, even in my lifetime in the school, that that's coming back and we're, we're absolutely reaping the rewards of of the, the, the service that we provide, so it's lovely to see. Leishkevel and Karen Hotaiko, Leishkevel Berk and Lachit, 
ichke. I guess half this ichke who will do ye. Gromashin a high, ha a fako cushion tall as asagin. Uh, ha lichen less if ye a sapage fatage who, ha lichen less if ye a genevical cursona hash and kutuma cursona hash and fuse owl. Um, ha tors corumrain if ye a genu and open a hack in ye. Genuinely, I, I think my affection for it, it absolutely has grown. I can honestly say, as a, as a head teacher who was coming for an interview for a head teacher of, a, of another school within the same authority, I learned about it as part of my interview prep. I didn't learn for understanding. I learned about it because I knew that it was part of the school. Being part of the school, and being immersed in that Gaelic experience has, I'm really, really enthusiastic about the language. I'm enthusiastic about why it, it should exist. Um, I guess, Marachu to hear the Batea, high fuse, if he actually Gaelic years ago. She, 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 in all honesty, I, I, I don't often praise myself for doing many things, but I, I think, I think in the, the non-Gallic world, I've become a wee bit of an evangelist, and I'm very, very proud of that because it's just opened up a, a whole new world that very few people know what exists, and it's down to people like me or people who lead schools where Gallic medium is available. We have to be out there, and we have to make sure we do our very best by it because it's it's part of the responsibility. And it's a huge responsibility, so we need to grasp it with both hands.